Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. My name is Jeff Aviano. Today we're going to look at a mod. The sound set in this thing is absolutely incredible. So let's go ahead and fire this baby up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Here's the lights. Very, uh, you know, old school. And I love the uh, sounds of the, um, of the brakes in this thing. So here's the interior. It's pretty, pretty basic stuff. You know, that's where I was like, you know, somebody said it's payware and this and this. And I was like, well, I don't know. It, it, it looks like of the quality of a lot of trucks that I have seen personally. I'm not having, not sure how many uh, gears are in this thing. We got low, low, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's an 18 speed, it looks like. And we do have high and low. Okay, so it's an 18 speed. That's pretty cool. But we are bobtailing. So let's, let's go ahead and just run down the road here real quick. Oh, you know what? Before we do that. Release our uh, parking brake there. There we go. I think we can actually go now. Oh, there we go. It's like turning to be nighttime here, so I think we're going to have to sleep. Which The good news is that after we customize the truck, we can go to sleep right there at that garage. And uh, we don't have to worry about it. We don't have a working... Um, we don't have a GPS in this truck. Now, I don't know if you can get it, but I, I don't know what all the... Uh, you know, the modifications you can make to it. So I think that'll be fun to do together. As always, when we do a mod showcase on the channel, let's try to make this light before this car comes. I have my left blinker on. You can see it right there. It does light up. That's pretty cool. That's the garage here. Yep, this is where we want to go. All right, let's see what this baby can become. A little bit more. I think we're going to go with, like, blue on this thing for color-wise. What do you think? What are you thinking? All right. Pull that. Let's go inside and check out what we can do in the upgrade shop. Uh, here are the options. Just a day cab is all it is. Um, we have options of a chassis. Nope. Just one. A six by four long. 150 gallon. Fuel tank. Here's the engine options. We have a 250 horsepower Cummins 275 in it right now. There's a California 218, a TTA. Oh, man. All sorts of different stuff. Uh, well, let's get as much horsepower as we can out of this, baby. It's going to be a Cummins 444 Series 520 is what we're going to go with. Uh, and I love the Eaton Fuller 18-speed. You know me. You know me so well. Uh, classic interior is the only option, so that's what we will take. And we can only do a custom color. Let's do a custom regular color. Like I said, I wanted to do, go with, like, a blue. Like, ooh, that's ugly as shit. Not that kind. That's like MS Paint Blue. Oh, here we go. This is a little bit different. Can we fade that out a little bit more, maybe? A little powder blue. Um, I don't know. That's that's pretty ugly. Uh, let's do a metallic blue. Maybe that'll look a little bit better if we have a, you know a little bit of metallic flakes happening inside of it. Let's see. Yeah, uh, there's like a blue. I don't want MS Paint Blue though. Ooh, like a dark blue would be pretty cool. Ooh, that looks nice, right? Like that. That's very custom looking. I like it a lot. I think we're going to roll with that one. We have an option here. We can make this a little bit. Uh, let's see what kind of blues we can throw into this view here. Ooh, nice. Like a dark blue there. Ooh, that is a beautiful looking blue. We're going to use that. All right. So we continue on to accessories. Uh, we do have a few options here. We can do eyelids, fender mounted blinkers, or blinker and eyelids. I think we're going to do, oh, got to have the eyelids. That looks so cool. Um, that's good. Let's see up here on the top. We've got a chrome grill. Absolutely. Uh, here we just got the stupid uh, little plates that we, it's not a common thing here in the U.S. Ooh, got to do the air filters. Basic air filters. Those look pretty cool. Uh, up here on top, we got a chrome visor we can do. Absolutely. Main mirrors are already preset there. There's the basic air filters. What we got on the back? Uh, exhaust. Look at this. You can do a double exhaust, a double tank. Double tank and exhaust or sleeper in a double tank exhaust. Oh, we got to do the sleeper. Come on. Flat top. Yes, sir. With the dual big ass things on the side. That looks pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, options in the back. Mud flaps. Yeah, we want to get the Kenworth, Kenworth mud flaps. Oh, it's on the front. Oh, it's like a splash guard thing. Maybe you have to do it over here. No, nope, doesn't seem to matter when it comes to those. There's, yeah, those are just for the front. Quarter fenders. That's what they are. Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, I'm not a big fan of those. Let's take them off. I like the old style. Uh, what do we got here for this? Olympic. I don't want to change really much of this because I don't want to, you know, possibly get it to crash. 
Um, and the 521 paint. Oh, you can change the paint on them. Oh, no way. So we can make them like blue if we wanted to. Yes, you can. Look at that. That is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's let's keep as a preset so I can choose that on this guy too. Bam. No, maybe not. Can we not go to that? Use preset? Oh, there it is right there. Ooh, that is cool. Although, I don't know, maybe black would be better. Let's try black on that. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with black wheels on this one. Yes, the blue with the black looks really good. Same thing for this front where I'm up here. Black, absolutely. And uh, do we have an option for these things, these hubs? Can we paint the hubs black maybe? Possibly. Yes, we can. And what about you, the little nuts? Can we paint those? Standard paint. Yes, we can. Use the preset black. Oh, no, that was the outer piece there. Um, there's the little... Where the heck? Oh, there's the nuts right there. Yep. Use preset. Bam. <laughs> All right. Let's black out this back piece too. Um... I do like that. It, it seems to work with that, all the other stuff. So that's, that's actually really cool. Uh, yep. Black. Just black it all out. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. And for you, same thing for you. Black it out. Black it out and black it out. And then we're going to get ourselves a nice little uh, run to take somewhere. Hub cover. Uh, oh, yeah. Exclusive paint. How about that? Only the exclusive stuff. No, exclusive was fine. Um, no, I didn't want any of that. No covers on it. Just black. Oh, that looks pretty sweet. Blue and black like that. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you like that or not, but I think it looks kind of cool. I think it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and confirm our order. A total 20,791. People always ask me all the time where you get your money. It's a save game file. You can just look up 100% uh, save game and, and it's pretty, pretty much uh, golden after that. Nothing on the interior we can change. Maybe we can put a GPS. Yes, we can. Oh, nice. That is pretty darn cool, honestly. Uh, and anything in there. We don't want number plates or anything like that. Beautiful. All right. I think we're done there. Hit confirm order. And I like how I painted the interior too. That is pretty cool. Go ahead and close that out. Like, I don't know about the blue on black, but to me, it just looks kind of badass, you know? Yes, it does. I love the eyelids on this thing. All right. So let's go ahead and go into the job market. We're going to go to the freight market and see what we got floating around here in Sacramento. Uh, that's where we are located right now. And we can make a short, we'll do a short run somewhere. These are all Walmart trailers. Like, welcome to Walmart, pretty much. Oh my God, that is a long distance. Oh, because it's on route length. Let's, let, we want price on down. Um, this guy just goes to Phoenix. You go to there, to there, to there. I'm looking for something a little shorter than we normally do on mod showcases because of that reason. Yeah, let's just go down to Bakersfield. Or we could go to Ukiah. Ooh, that'd be fun. Let's do Ukiah, California. Let's make it a little bit of a shorter trip on this particular one. Oh, nice. I love that GPS. That's cool. I'll put my mirrors away. I'm pretty happy with the seating uh, by default, too. So not bad at all. Ooh, that's got a mean sound to it. All right. No idea what the uh, Jake Breaker anything like that sounds like. But this engine sounds a lot uh, more smoother than the last one we saw. Jump that Peterbilt there. All right, we can come out of here and make a left. These sounds are really good. These sounds are really good. I'm going to force my way on out in here. Don't mind me driving our custom uh, 521 around here. We can make this light. That's that longer yellow lights mod. I love it. I love it. I love it. So hopefully your uh, week has been all right. I've had a good week, man. It's been a it's been a really good week. Been looking forward to getting back into America Truck Sim. I've been really enjoying this game uh, with the mods, the different mods that have come out for it. Um, but outside of that, oh man, those brakes are a little bit on the heavy side there. Alrighty, let's uh, go ahead and pop in here real fast and pick up our trailer. I think it's that one right there, actually. What it seems like. Yep, we want to view our contract here. That is the one we want. Going to Ukiah, California. I don't think I've ever even been there. But I've had a lot of questions uh, where my normal series is, not just the mod showcases. I've just been wanting to do mod showcases for a while. I will be doing my uh, normal series very soon, actually. I'm going to be bringing that back. And uh, we're going to get a, a truck for that and all that. 
Um, but outside of that, uh, we are going to probably be installing that MHA Pro map uh, that came out. I think that'll be pretty. You know, what? let's uh, go ahead and go in. I'm going to change, uh, turn it advanced coupling on. If you don't know how to do that, you just go to your options. Uh, you go to gameplay and then up here you'll have uh, the option for the parking. Where's it at? Uh, I just saw it a second ago. Advanced trailer coupling is under truck settings right there. So we're going to turn that on. Usually with most mods, I have a problem with that actually working, you know, and I have to use the T button. So let's see if this actually can, we can actually do it on this one. We need to definitely adjust these mirrors. My God, those are terrible. Those are absolutely terrible by default. Yeah, we'll move it all the way in. There we go. Beautiful. Um, ooh, not the adjustment, but uh, mirror adjustment right side. Yep. Bring them on in. I just want to be able to see the wheels so I know how far we are from the actual trailer. That'll work right there. All right. Back it on up. And try to get this to kingpin. Woo. Hello. A little bit more. I don't know. Let's see. Keep going. It looks pretty straight. Nailed it on the first try. There we go. Put that on there. Man, look at this old flat top with this new trailer. That looks crazy. That looks crazy, man. I, I don't know about the, the, the black wheels. I think they should have been like chrome or white. But you know what? We're just messing about. Just messing about. So that's okay. I'm not going to be able to make this turn. No way in hell. Not on the first try, at least. All right. Back this way. Yep. Just drag that baby on out of there like that. Right around the corner. Looking good. I can't see too well there with that particular... Uh, you know, mirror, but that's okay. All right, we'll make our left turn here. Let's turn our lights on, actually. Just be smart about it. They want us to go left here, so that's what we're gonna do. It's a 30 mile an hour zone. To keep an eye on our uh, actual speedometer there today. Boy, this the mirrors in this thing are kind of shoddy enough to where you can't see too much out of the windows. Beautiful. Well, how many of you guys remember a Kenworth 521? Because I surely have never seen them on the roads unless they're at like a truck show or something. I, I think I've seen some before. But outside of that, like, unless it's in, uh, you know, the movie Convoy or Smoking Demanded or something, I would imagine this 521 is something like a late 60s, early 70s. I don't know that much about them. And that's why I'm asking your opinion on it oh we were gonna sleep weren't we so we didn't have to be at night well we will do that how are we on fuel that's a good question where is the fuel gauge on this truck probably right behind the yeah i see it over there we're full we've got plenty of fuel get on the highway first time on the highway with our uh, custom 521 on to the 80. San Rafael, one mile, Oakland, San Francisco. Even with this, uh, you know, this engine in this thing, it's a little underpowered. I mean, we've got, you know, 29,000 pounds of toys, but still. We get to use the Jake brake for the first time here in a second. See what it sounds like. Oh, that is good. Very nice. Yeah, the sounds are really good in this truck. Really good in this truck. Looking good. Ooh, nice Dodge Ram there. Love that Ram. Oh, 
man, this is some good gear jamming right here. Might actually make it before the evening, so this is a nice evening drive. I don't think I'm going to go to sleep because I like the, uh, the sunset like this. It looks pretty good. Very nice. I'll have to get a, uh, a nice little screenshot up here on this road with the sunset going down. All right, just trucking along now, along Highway 37. I don't think I've ever been on this highway, or have I ever been to this drop. But that's why I'm excited to use uh, MHA Pro map, uh, map mods, because uh, it adds just so many more dynamics to the game, like the truck stops look alive and, and whatnot, as well as there's a lot more drop-off areas. And I saw there was one where it's like underground in a cavern, and that is pretty amazing itself. Oh, we gotta be the outside view for this uh, Jake break. I gotta hear it. I did not trust that truck there for a second. Jesus. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. Man, oh man, I wanted to go to the outside views to show you guys that. And uh, yeah, this little light popped up and was like, no, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. But yeah, this this engine is a very smooth sounding engine. That sounds so good. Ooh, nice Barracuda. I think I believe that was a coup. Yeah, Barracuda. It looks like one at least. Oh, what are you guys' uh, plans for the weekend? This weekend here, it's supposed to be nice and warm back up in the 70s in St. Louis. So that's going to be really nice. We're going to just have a barbecue and hang out. And uh, hopefully it's going to be a clear night to where we can see Comet Honda. I know I talk about comets and space weather all the time in American Truck Sim, but... So this episode is no different. However, it's just a friendly reminder that, uh, you know, on Saturday night, February 11th, uh, Comet Honda P45 is supposed to, like, what I saw on the, uh, on the Sky Live was that it's supposed to pass at zero point, like, eight three, uh, AU. So, that is extremely, extremely close. I've seen a lot of guys that, like, follow that stuff that are am amateur astronomers and stuff have said that it's, like, supposed to be one of the closest passing comets of our time. So, Definitely don't want to miss that one. The magnitude on it is currently eight, and I think it like it was supposed to go down, but it looks like it's just going to kind of stabilize right there. And if you don't know what a comet's magnitude is, it just tells you the brightness of it. So the lower the number, the brighter it is. I know it's completely opposite what you think it would be, but it's supposed to be an eight, and that's going to be pretty bright to the naked eye. So keep an eye on that. It's supposed to be in the constellation of Hercules. Hercules, Hercules! As we get on the highway. Man, the uh, AI has not been a complete dick bags today. That's like a miracle and a half itself. But yeah, I saw that shooting star there a little while ago and it reminded me Comet, Comet. Man, that Jake break is good. That's a good sound of Jake break, man. That's a good sound and Jake break. Let's see the uh, eight challenge fly by view. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh man, the sounds in this thing are pretty good. I've got to say it's a very nice truck. Like uh, as far as like visibility out of it and all that is concerned. The only thing I do not like is the placement of the mirrors. The mirrors are so far back, you have to look way to the sides to see anything. There we go. That's eight high there. Our final gear of the day. Doing about 60, 65. We can do 70 through here, apparently. Because I still have it on uh, the normal mode for cars. I just kept it on there. I was like, ah, I don't even want to mess with that when we're doing uh, mod showcases of trucks because I know people want to see how fast they go and, and all that. I mean, we're not going to do top speed runs in a Kenwood 521, but also want to be able to go faster than 55, you know? Faster than 55 miles per hour. Per hour? Per hour? Like Panera Bread, per hour? Per hour. 
Yeah, this has got a nice sound to it. It almost will put you to sleep. It's that smooth of an engine. Got yourself a real smooth engine here. Ooh, we're on the 101. This is uh yeah, one of the one of the uh highways that was in cruising USA. Cruise. I know we talked about that last time, but go to cruising USA. Behind this Silverado. A lot of you guys came out and were like, hey, um, you're talking about I was talking about the Ram and the Silverado. Uh and I do appreciate the uh input you guys give us. But I'll make my final decision when I do some test driving of vehicles. But I mean I've always swung towards the Ram. I want a Ram. I want a black Dodge Ram and I want to black it out completely. I mean like black chrome wheels, you name it. Black push bar on it. Push bumper. Bull bar, whatever you want to call it. I've always wanted that. But it's just time to get away from our coupe. The coupe is uh, its difficult to see out of the back, right? When you're backing up. It's just a huge blind spot on that Eclipse. I think we're almost to our destination. Almost to our destination. You mean this video's not going to be like 50 minutes long for once? <laughs> Oh, I love that Jake break. I want that to be like a standalone mod that just like overrides other ones. All right, let's go ahead and Jake break this baby all the way into Ukiah up here. A little bit more speed and now we can have the fun part. That sounds so good, man. Sounds so good. All right, left time now. Second gear work here. Yep. There's a little tiny uh, concave mirror on the bottom there, you can see. 30 mile an hour zone through here, and we're almost to Walmart to drop off. Looks like it's a huge distribution center one. Yeah. This is interesting. Yeah, it might be the same one that we had before. I don't know. Hard to say. But I've never been here before, so I wouldn't know. Uh, no, it looks like, yeah, it looks like one of the normal ones. That's just in the back left. That's okay, though. Nothing wrong with that. I don't think we have a stop sign here, so yeah, bus. You, want, you mind if we go? He's, he's doing this whole thing. Like, can I go? Can I go? Like, they have to yield to us, I would imagine. I did not see a stop sign for us anywhere. Dude, you're asking to get hit by a damn trailer. I'm going to go as far out as I can here. Don't be honking at me. Don't you be honking at me, dude. We have to go around these assholes because, yeah. Yeah, they have a stop. We did not have a stop. on the left. Yes, sir. Yeah, let me know if you want me to use this truck again. We can we can definitely do something else with it. Um being that it uh is uh you know a badass truck we could do a daytime run instead of a nighttime run like we did here. But we usually do daytime runs in the uh, in the mod showcases, so might as well do a nighttime one just for good old time's sake. All right, go into our secondary lights here. Yeah, those. Oh, and they actually work down there. See this flip? Yeah, the switches actually work. Look at that. That's our drop off right there. Okay. Actually, you know, let's try our little trick here. Even with the flat top, I think we'll be all right here. All right, yeah, let's try this. We'll put her in first gear here. We'll bring it all the way to the left. 
bring her right up next to these reefers, and then we're gonna do our 45 degree little deal here. Don't hit the mirror on it, that would be bad. All right, looking good there. Yep, right there, turn her hard right, and then hard left. We should be set up pretty nice here, if we do that. By these pallets over here. Without hitting the pallets. There we go. And that worked out pretty good. Straight on back from there. Uh, you know what? I had it and then I started turning the wheel the wrong way. That's what happened there. Pull up one more time. There we go. Goes this way. So we can actually turn. There we go. Like that. And we got plenty of room. It's not a bad truck at all, man. It's pretty nice. I'm liking it. Probably have one pull up here we'll have to do, but that's okay. We'll pull up right here, actually. Now we can use our mirror there. But it's so easy to see out of the side of this thing. It's like, why not use the door, you know? Like, why not use the door if we have it? Okay. Man, if you if I ran that into the wall, I'd be so sad. It's such a beautiful truck that you don't want to tear it up like that, you know? No one wants to tear it up like that. Straight on back, baby more this way looks good wow my fov mods actually working in this truck who it must be certain trucks that it just is broken in i don't know let's one more pull up here make it nice and straight there we go straight on back that'll work beautiful parking brake is pulled have a looky have a looky at her that looks pretty nice pretty nice indeed Let's undo it, decouple it, Let's see where we sit on this one. 136 miles, very short trip, excellent, beautiful. Can't ask for that, oh, we even leveled up to 137,005. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this mod showcase of the Kenworth 521. Of course, the link for it will be in the description below. You can check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.